nanagi ragi uh in the first video uh, i made some mistakes <clears throat> on the manufacturing thread actually uh, uh at the mistakes i will not show it you and then uh, just for safety sake what happens i gone into missions organizations of 002 uh, but you try everything on your own right just to work fine if it's working it's excellent because i don't want to again get stuck on this no so 002 will work fine and so what happens i gone to 002 and then configure everything is working i tested it now i'll not show it to you but first and then afterwards i will not show you the setup changes which i have made <clears throat> maybe uh, one of them may be correct i am not sure about it uh, which is really cost and so what happens i would like to have a what happens a concrete one that uh, what happens these are the setups so right? that, that, that is uh, clearly not that but when i made multiple changes it worked and then uh, you people analyze and then tell me uh, what exactly it is and then uh, vikram or others please make a what happens a notes that will be very helpful for the people who go to the field now right? so it has been priced and then uh, uh, what happens i am not aware of manufacturing actually and so uh, to some extent what happens I, i will not show you where exactly i am unable to understand and then if you can uh, identify it it will be easy actually fine so let's go and then we'll now start our activity go there and then i will now go to this place uh, i will now go to the home now we'll close it from there so let us now create a new sales order for this one and then start our activity directly uh, go there so go to order management and then you go to the order management and then let us now create a new sales order and then start our activity on this one. click on create order so drop it down and then choose a business unit over there so use one business unit and then i will now put my computer standard computer on the machine now computer services so and adults so and then i will now make the default do because they have customized the do and then they are now making it to fire on the beginning itself so let me put so this will now default do will now fire now so click on it i will now populate my a01 underscore uh, drum 2 drum 2 is the one i have now created now so let me choose the drum 2 and click on okay now now i'll now go for eight quantities on this one so go there you know it has to show you out of stock or in stock then only what happens your gop is now set perfectly fine go there go for eight stock eight quantity you have and then click on add now we are adding it now so you go to this place and then i will now say when i want now go there so 17 8 is a date i am giving in final letter let us make it as 25th now i want it on 25th so 25th is the date i'm giving it now so the requested date is not 25 in the supply area i'm not going to give anything at all the supply i don't give anything any warehouse name no supply can go to supply so by which the order gets submitted the customer has confirmed the purchase because of which we are not triggering a submission actually so once when it is submitted what happens the order will be getting placed actually with the order number okay fine got our number fine okay now and go there so 113356 is the order number now <coughs> go there and then click on refresh it will be getting refreshed and then you go to the actions and then you go to the switch to fulfillment view <laughs> and then you go to the fulfillment view and then here what happens you go there and then click on the do number now the do number is come back click on it now <clears throat> since i have put a default do the do the do is coming over here now like this fine the, the order fulfillment generic process is now fine if i click on the orchestration plan the orchestration plan if you want what up you can see that the scheduling is yet to begin now fine once when the scheduling is there the reserve and then the ship will be changed to what requesting orchestration supply so on a back to back make back to back buy and then back to back transfer it will be changed to what request orchestration supply that is why it will work come over so click on start so the scheduling is now started scheduling has got completely you can see the request orchestration supply is the change on the do root now and click on the fresh now go there it is now getting refreshed and then what happens again go there and then click on the fulfillment lines and then you can now see <coughs> that there will be a back order find the back or other back to back will be in your notify back to back so there are three types of back to back back to back buy back to back make back to back transfer so we have completed the buy and transfer now we are in the make now so you got us go there <clears throat> you go to the orchestration plan again and then give a refresh now <clears throat> go there so click on refresh now in the pass is now coming i go there so the pass will now pass now <laughs> click on it now the pass is waiting again fine so we will now see why it's waiting actually go the click on it is waiting actually there is some mistake in my configuration because of which what happened the pass is waiting otherwise what happened the part pass be getting completed now and go to the fulfillment lines and then have a look at it now so click on the fulfillment lines you will now see the dates are having a problem actually so the scheduled ship date is what 9238 now fine and then uh, requested date is 25 and then uh, it is now scheduled on 23 maybe it may be holiday thing probably and you know see yeah see 24 and 25 are holidays actually So 24 and 25 are holidays because of which what happens? It has now shifted the date before now. 
So the logic can be changed actually. Fine. Remember, on a holiday, it will not ship at all. Fine. They might have given a Saturday and Sunday as a holiday. So 24 and 25 are holidays. So since we want on 24, what happens? It is not shifted to the third month. And then the arrival date, they have given a transit time of one day because of it is not showing. So because of this, what happens? There is a pass. So fine. It is not getting what happens. You are not seeing that in, the, in this orchestration process. You cannot see it must have gone. I think probably it was waiting for some time. You know, again, refresh now. Fine. Click on refresh. <coughs> So it's still waiting actually fine. So there is a geopody sort of a thing now fine uh, because uh, you wanted on someday what happens if it's going to be shifted something and then uh, we have to really analyze it now. But our uh, work order is now getting created. It has got created. Fine. If you go there, what happens? the pass is not a big problem basically. The pass will be coming because of so many. There is a it is a ready-made pass and then uh, what happens a uh, system built pass. We can even make a customized pass also. I have already attached you. So you can now see a work order, a supply order has come. It is now awaiting supply. It is not one of the awaiting supply. So you can now see it's waiting. But Work order is now waiting supply. So click on the work order number five. It is called a SCO, Supply Chain Orchestration number number five. You go there, you will not take copy of it. Number five. Click on it, you will not take copy of it. <clears throat> you will now query for the other side also, find the, the Supply Chain Orchestration number also there. So you also have to analyze and then tell me why I, it got passed now. Right? Because so of this holiday, because of which what happens, it must not make. But it should not pass basically. That is what uh, on time, all this, the geopolitical reasons are here, shown over here now. So just analyze the sales order. And then see about why I'm not getting a pass. Click on the geopod history. <clears throat> Nothing is there as it's not fine. Status details. It's not saying sort of scheduled actually. Fine. And then uh, you are saying associated fulfillment lines. If you go on and see, you know, the scheduling. You know, the associated fulfillment lines. <clears throat> Actual completion date. Uh, the last. Uh, 19, uh, 17 is the one. How come it's coming as a 17 actually? I asked only for 20. Oh, yeah, we are not doing it practically. I think probably. And something is there. So go there. So sh the ship to uh, ship back to back has to go to awaiting shipping now, but it has not gone to awaiting shipping. But we are able to see the score number now. Score number is available there. The score number is available here. So we are taking a copy now. We will now right click and then we will now go there, duplicate, and then have a look at the score number. Click on it. Entering now. We are going to have a look at the score now. <coughs> go there. So in the score number, what happens? You go there. You go to the uh, what's called uh, go to the uh, you know, order management and then see the supply orchestration is not there and the supply chain execution will be there. Okay. The supply chain execution, we have the supply orchestration, click on it, supply orchestration, this is the supply chain orchestration actually. Supply orchestration is nothing but supply chain orchestration, there we go and then query this now. You click, on it. You click on this now and then you go to the manage supply lines. <clears throat> go there, drop, paste it over here. Now. Give it down. Then click on search now. So once we search for it, what is not the number? Number is not valid, no saying. Three, and then as eight zero nine five the one. Three eight zero nine five is ending. Oh god, come on. I drop it down and then make a search now. Uh supply request reference number. Oh god, I'm sorry. It should not be kept over here. You have to put in the supply order number. You have to paste it on this place, not this place. So give it that. It's the supply order number. Click okay, on it. And then make a search now. <coughs> It's not coming fine. Because it's a make supply is a make type, and then line status is in production now. Fine, does not go into the production. This is the work order number W0021056 of work order number. Now, go further, go further. It's not showing you what exactly you're going to manufacture. Eight pieces are now requested now. Fine, click on it, and then you can now see the completion. So, the complete the computer services and it's fine. Click on it. So, we can now have a look at the progression of this order. Now. So, click on it. So, it is in production now. It is in production. And go there, click on it. And then you go down and then see this no fine. So you will now see there's a buy, make, and transfer of the three scope processes basically. If you go on then buy, you won't be finding anything at all. And then if you go in the transfer, also nothing will be there. So if you go to the make, what happens? You cannot see this. If you can make, what happens? It will not show you. you expand it and then see now <coughs> the scope. It says what? Uh, destination submittal is a completed submittal, and then the work order start date is what happens? 19 1. And then work order the number. If you click on the work order number, fine. Uh, click on the, and the orchestration plan, if you go on and see, what happens, it will not say how much more. Work order is not created, it is not reserved also. So, this much of a quantity, once when it is completed, once when it is inventorized, and nobody can touch it actually. So, you go to the what's called your make now, and then click on the hyperlink on the document number now. If you click on the hyperlink on the document number, what happens, you know, so what happens, the generic information now, fine. There are three operations which are there now. Fine. We have three operations, and then reserved quantity is one now. Fine. Click on it. I will now go to the operations now. If I click on the operation now. <clears throat> so you can see the drum bending operation. It needs what? This is the item. The sheet metal is required, and then the resource is what? A welder is required. And then for the building, we building rods are required, and the welder is required. And for the painting, paint is required, and the painter is required. Now it's not showing everything. 
and then if you go to the reservations now, right, all the eight corners are reserved against the sales order. Right? So nobody can touch it as soon as it's inventorized. Upon inventorization, nobody can touch it. The sales order, the contact is a sales order. Now. Customer number is so and so. This is required, and then this is a sales order number now. Okay, fine. All these things are coming up. Now. If you click on the history, as of now, what happens? There is no history at all. So if you click on the transaction history, there will be no, no transaction history at all. Nothing has been transacted. Right? Thank you. Thank you. And then in the main area, if you go there, <coughs> again, what happens? Come to what? Uh, oh, it has come out of it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So to the managed supply lines, and then again, query it now. Supply order number of this. And then click on search now. So again, click on it now. <coughs> go down. So if you go to what happens, you go up and down, what happens? Repeat again. First line, and then you go to the second line, and then I'll show you everything. So click on the document number now. And then, if you click on the work definition and expand it, it will not show you the orders. So, version one is now shown over here now. Item structure expand it. Now. <clears throat> it will show you the primary structure. Click on the details now. <clears throat> it will not show you the other details on this now. And then, completion information, nothing is complete. Now, it is not complete, only one piece on this. One. It is not complete, only one piece on this. One. You see, come back to this general information now. So, you click on done and then come out of it. <clears throat> You're coming here. Yes. So let us now complete one piece. Now, fine. It is a work code 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 5, 6, 1. Right. right click and then duplicate now. Going over there. And then let us now complete one piece on this. So go to the supply chain execution and then you go to the work ex execution now. Till now, we have gone to the work definition and done everything. We go to the work execution and then you're going to see it now. Right. Click on the work execution. And then go further now. This place. So click on it. And then here, you have to go to the execution, execute production now. So it is what's called review dispatch list. In the execute production, what happens is well, the execute production, you go to the review dispatch list, or otherwise, what happens, you can even see uh, how much is uh, past due, unreleased jobs, all these things are in there. What happens in the info list also, it will not show you something now. Fine, so we'll now go to the review dispatch list. You click on the review dispatch list, and then you will now put the area as what our area now, our drum area, and then click on search, it will not show you which orders there is. There are two orders there. So in the previous one, what happens? I was doing uh, 10055, 10056 is the one. Click on So it has got the first operation is now ready for execution. So operation button is now ready for execution. Fine, go there. So what happens? I can quick complete or otherwise complete to the radius actually. Quick complete is what? It will now take up all the resources and uh, your uh, what's called your materials, and then it will now complete depending upon the operation pool or assembly pool. So I will now first operation I will now complete to the radius. Fine, click on the complete details and then go there. So click on the complete details. Go there. So it is a three-step process now. First, what happens? The material backlist, and then what happens? The resources now. Fine, order transact resources. So it has got the product is not showing you. Fine, go there. I will not change the quantity from eight to one. Eight to one. I am completing it now. Fine. You can even print a label on this one. Fine, as well as and then uh, transaction notes. If there is anything, what happens? You can even attach it now. Fine, go to the next. So out of one, what happens? Out of eight only, I am completing one. Completing one. Now, fine, click on next. Now, fine, and now go to the backlist materials. This concept is exactly same like what we have in Ebus. Now, fine, as well as. And then here, if you want any additional components to be transacted during this work, fine, click on plus now, fine, and there, go there. And then for this, you know, choose a component now, fine. Already one component is there. And then if you want to choose any other component, what happens? You can also define A01. And then click on search now, find some other component you want to share. So now, what happens? The sheet metal is now getting done. I want to supply paint also, fine, click on OK now, fine. The paint is already done. <clears throat> so, is what is the plus symbol is coming new. So that says it's new. If you put the existing one, what happens? It is not in the structure at all. That is what it is saying. So it is going to be uh, required is nothing, but you are transacting one. So this will be hitting the variance actually. This will be hitting the variance. And go there, click on it, and then you go to the next. Now. And likewise, what happens? You can add any material over there now, which is beyond the uh, what happens? The planned one. The planned ones need not be added at all. The system will be automatically pulling it, by back flushing it based upon the OP, AP, and then the auto. Uh, what happens the auto charge? I already explained you about the auto charge back question and things. So a similar concept must be there. I meant to learn that now. Fine. Well, let's click on next one. <clears throat> now you go to the auto transact resources. So if capacity planning is there, what happens? We have to say which vendor and cutter is basically involved. Now fine. Either Ramba is involved or Urvasi involved or Menaka is involved. So you have to put the instance name actually. And here as of what happens, they are not defined anything. So uh, it is basically capacity planning. If you give a search, also nothing will be coming as such. So we have to make the resources for the capacity planning. I don't know how to do it now, fine, but I can do it now. So operations there. So the particular instance of a resource, we can very well do it. <coughs> so this is variable, fine, what is required is one. And then pump is also one now, fine. If you want to change, you can even change it. It will be an additional resource to be hitting the variance actually. That's it. So you are when you are going in the details, what happens? You're going to add the additional materials and the additional resources which are going to pump in for the job now. Otherwise, what happens? It will be taking the usual ones. Click on seven close now, which what happens? Operation number 10 is now, 10 is now completed for one quantity. 
it says you have completed uh, the quantity of one at operation 10 now for the work order so on so forth physics the next operation is what 20 20 is not ready for them you go there in the 56 what happens the 20th operation is ready actually right so 50th operation 10 is there and then one more thing is what the completion date it is not coming in the red color now fine you know see what is the problem now is past due how come it is past due oh god it has no got completed on uh, 20th of march what is this year don't understand this date at all somebody please analyze it now why it has gone to red and you now giving you a warning also right so 56th operation is past due now right i think 19 is a year actually 19 is a year 20th must be the date and then March. 20th of March 19, come on. What is this year? So, I can understand the date. It is like 6, 6, 19 operation. So you have to analyze the dates also. Fine. I think the uh, what's called lead time management has not been made properly. Actually. That is the reason. Right? If you make the lead time management properly, then what happens? It will be putting exactly the dates and things fine. I'm going to learn that now. Fine. So that has been because of which what happened? The date not is coming off and go again. And then you can even add some notes on this topic. Manually report, manual, uh, manual reporting required means what? I don't know what exactly means. Something is coming. So try to uh, learn manufacturing fully and then do it. So we are now completed one operation on this now. I will not give a damn now. <clears throat> so uh, I will now go back to this now. So one operation now completed. Fine. Click on the documentation number on the scope area. Go there. So here you can now see the completion information. If you go there, click on it. As of now, nothing is completed as such now. Fine. Uh, uh, we'll now go to the history of transactions and click on the history. We'll now have the put it. Click on the transaction history. Now, one operation has been completed. So it says what? Tenth operation on the 56. What happens? Resources charged, and then here, metal is issued, and then operation is completed. So we have component or resource issue. Uh, what happens? There's no issue. And then uh, this is an additional issue. Actually, what happens? We need only a uh, this thing. Uh, I'm not sure about whether we have to put our material or I think our material will come automatically. So that must be only an additional material. So I'm not sure about it. Right? Uh, you just make a check of it. But see, the vendor cutter we are not mentioned. It has already come on the automatically. Right there. Only the quantity of the resource can be issued. Whereas materials, what happens? We can even issue additional materials. And now resources we are unable to charge additional different type of resource basically. Only thing is the quantity can be varied actually. Right? So the production transition is coming. Click on done now. Fine. Not done. So we'll let us now complete this one quantity completely now. We'll now complete one quantity. Only. So 10, 20, and 30 are the three operations on this now. Fine. So on the 20th operation we are in. So you go there and then expand it. Expand it. And then I will now quick complete the 20th operation. So 20th operation, what happens? I will now perform quick complete, not in the details. Now. In the details, we can add additional resources and materials. So click on quick complete. The 20th will be getting quick completed. So here for a quantity of one, operation number 20 is now completed. And then the next operation is uh, now 30 of the work center actually. So once we complete it, what happens? It will get inventorized actually. So you can now see the 30th operation now coming. Fine, go there, expand it, and then do it, and then what happens? You go, then quick complete again. 30th operation also, what happens? I'm now quick completing it now. Click on quick complete. So it's now coming. Fine, go there. You have completed one quantity of 30th operation, and then uh, uh, two sub inventory so and so completed for the work order. So it is now gone. So it is now completed fully. The process is completed. Fine, click on done now. You will now see on the main area. We can now see this. Fine, click on done now. Fine, go there. You go to this place. So. You go there. I am so pretty. Hmm? I am so pretty. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> go there. And then here, we will now refresh it. Now, I click on refresh. Now. You can now see that one quantity is now fully completed. And then it has now come back. Go there. Go down and see. So here, it is the wedding supply. And then uh, this line has to come for what happens. This thing now. So it has to get updated on this place also. Because it's not completed. Fully completed. One quantity is completed. So you can now see still showing only eight. Now fine. I have to see that uh, one and seven has to be there actually. Right? Because it's not completed. Now that it is now eligible for what happens the shipping actually. Right? Eligible for shipping. I don't know where to see this now. Fine. If you click on this again, click on the score number now. You will now see one quantity is now fully completed. Now fine. So fulfilled quantity is one now out of which out of eight. One is a fulfilled quantity. So one is a fulfilled quantity. So maybe it may not be reflecting you over there. And I'm not sure about where exactly. Uh, it will not show you here now. Fine. I thought that line will split, but it is not splitting actually. So let us now ship that one quantity. We will now see whether the line gets split or not. So only one is ready now. So go to the orchestration plan. Fine. You click on it. And you click on the down. <clears throat> Somewhere you analyze until we find uh, execution documents is not coming over there. And then the work quarter number of the eight quantity charged. <clears throat> Status is what? Changed. That is what you're saying now. <clears throat> Created and then there's no change. I don't know whether it will not show me here or not in the make area and one is completed now. It is released and then if you click on it now, 
if you click on this one here so where exactly it is going to be give this and click on the completion information of and expand it you know see how much is completed now based upon the work done i'm not showing you but how we are going to complete it actually and you know, so if you go on and click on the history so is the completed code is one now and remaining is seven so here it's not showing you and some status is not showing you status history is not shown here yet. so if you click on the transaction history it will not show you all the histories again so all the operations when 10 three operations 20 and then 30 okay yes uh 20 it has got only uh three we are manually charged and then the 20 and 30 are automatically charged and so what happens it is not coming in the three manner right? uh, the, the final state is what the production completion production is completed so let us not try to in the sales order also it is not showing me anywhere now that one is ready for shipping actually if i click on demo so supply is available for one quantity i click on demo and here it is not showing all this thing now history also is not showing so we will not come to the main sales order and see whether anything anywhere is not mentioned or that not so so please make an order and then uh, please tell me about how to view it now actually one is now completed <coughs> back to go and then view go there so click on execution now and somebody please make a no order as a complete notes of how to do it now so it will not give a done and then come back to the main sales order the supply order score number we are not come for with that so in the main sales order <coughs> uh, one is there in the supply what happens goods partially available i'm not saying goods are partially available for sure uh, is uh, uh, what happens uh, supply uh, it is requesting or something i don't know what is the status now fine uh, awaiting supply it was awaiting supply now goods are partially available go down And then you say quantity is one. And then is goods available? Someone is what happens? Awaiting supply. Is good. Is not saying fine with that. So at least here it's showing. So we'll now go there and then try to ship it. Not fine with that. Go to the rupee gate and then it has to get uh, what happens? Uh, some quantities have to get back ordered now because it's not there. We'll now see how it comes. <clears throat> you go to the supply chain execution and then you go to the inventory management. It is a pick and ship and then what happens? We'll now see how it is getting reflected. Also. Go down. Then you go to the shipment. <clears throat> so I will go to what? I will now go to the shipments. No point. Click on the shipments and then query for the order number. No point. Order number is what? Ah, uh, it is one one three three five six. One one three three five six. Okay. So go there. Go to the one one three three five six. <clears throat> no query. One one three three five six. Okay. Give it a tap. And then click on search. No. <clears throat> Searching for it. No. Again, not coming. Ah, make it as what well before. This unnecessary extra thing. I don't like it. Somebody make a SR and then or I was asked them to remove. I would like to have a blank search also. So click on search now. Yeah, I'm I'm not in the proper organization actually. I have to ship it. Change the organization. I, I'm in zero zero two actually. So zero zero two. Then click on okay. Maybe that will be a reason. Organization invalid value zero zero two. Drop it out. Oh God, he is not having a data access policy or what? Oh God, he is not having a data access. So that's okay, fine. So uh, the main part is what the manufacturing part is not complete. It is not reflecting on this place also. So you can uh, go on the uh, complete ship it and then order. So you can also do the billing. No fine, it's all correct. Now I will tell you about what all the changes. One more thing is what if you go there here uh, we are having one problem with orchestration. No fine, orchestration. It's still waiting. I think probably. and pass is waiting so what you can do is uh, because of some errors only rigging but you are able to do the manufacturing basically so what you can do is you can go there and then run the pass task no fine release pass task so if you run the release pass task what happens it will be coming and go there so you go to this place and then here what happens you go to the manager orders no fine monitor process and then run the release pass task so it will not progress at least on the one no fine click on it so will not run the release pass task But the problem is really because of something; it will not release at all. At least pass us. You may think what happens is okay because of a holiday. What happens? It has not uh, shifted it before now. So go there. One one three three five six is order number now. So one one three three five six. Okay, go there. And then click on submit. By which there is no getting completed now. So the release pass task is now coming up. I'm going to click on it. And then once when it is completed, what happens? It will now go heard on that workflow actually. So the release pass task is now completed. We go there, and then what happens? It will now refresh the machine. I'm going to click on refresh. And how does it go? It was in the waiting state as now. So now what happens? The supply request completed is now gone. It is now got completed. 
and then if you click on refresh, whatever that is do our waiting shipping. Our waiting shipping is the last status of a sales order. That means what does not complete all the order entry activities and then only shipping execution is balanced. Our waiting shipping as far as a ship and the uh, bill products are concerned. If it is only bill only, I think uh, the status will be different actually. And then it, it now it has gone to complete. Fine, complete and then it has gone to waiting shipping. So this is also status also updated. So that pass is only a temporary problem and then we are able to do it. But if there is a real problem, it will never even progress at all. Upon at least pass task. So this is what is, so goods are partially available. So I am unable to because I have to give the need access for the second org and then I do the picking and shipping that you know very well. So that part I am not doing. So only thing is mainly what the manufacturing is not being demonstrated. Now we will now go there and then I will now show you the setups of this. I will now show you the setup changes which I made now. So initially what happens, I have now made the parent as what, I will now show the parent now. I will now show the parent. What is this? What is the product management? I mean, what is the product information management? I mean, I will now show the parent how I have made it. I don't think I've made any change in the parent actually. I've not made any change in the parent actually. Let me click on it. I will now say A01 underscore and then make a search. So in the in the, in the parent com or what happened, I know I made a drum two actually here. So drum two will now have another. So drum two is one. So let us open up the drum two on this one and to do it. So drum two. <coughs> So go there and then in the specifications and how the it. So if you go to the what's called manufacturing here, what happens is okay, and then build a MIP is on and nothing else other than this not And then if you go to the sales and order management, so the back to back is this now. I left the check ATP, whatever is there, fine. Probably it will be using only by the planning center, I think, probably. So I have not checked anything. So apart from that, I have not done anything at all. Nothing. No, I have not touched any other fields basically. Fine. The finished good template is okay. And then afterwards in the planning, what happens if you go there? So here uh, it is a, what's called make item actually. Fine, is a make, is a make. And then in the component level, I made everything as a buy actually. That is the change I made. So previously, what happens? All the components are make now. So if you have a make below a make, what happens? It becomes a sub assembly actually. So uh, sub assemblies will be having a make, and so uh, that way I did it actually. <clears throat> so uh, we have done like that now. So uh, I have now made that is the change I made for the components actually, and everything as a buy actually. And there is one change. And I don't know because of which it has come or not. And the multiple changes are made now. The components are all by the parent is a make actually. And then in the planning, again, what happens? The rest of the things are okay now. So MRP planning, and then I have calculated AP AWS and then the processing days I've given now. So this is the only change in the, in the parent, what happens? There is no change at all. In the, in the component level, I have made a change. I will not show the component level change now. And then I applied a finished good template for all. Okay, there is another thing. Point. You please succeed and then tell me where exactly is the thing. And then I'm not still very clear upon uh, what happens. It has got succeeded. Doesn't mean that it is correct actually. So I will not go to the paint. I will not show you one of the components. Of the I'm not showing you. <clears throat> the main change is what I made with the buy actually. Click on this and then I go to the uh, what's called planning area. So yeah, I made it with the buy. <clears throat> So in the sales and order management, what happens? Uh, these components, the back-to-back -back is not enabled at all. They are all only simply components, and so what happens? They are not enabled. It, and then all the three components are not having a back-to-back -back, uh, enabled. Only the parent is having a back-to-back -back enabled. Right? This is the, the component level. I have not enabled the back-to-back. -back. And then the planning, I made it as a buy. I made it as a buy. Right? Do two changes on all the components. Right? Don't enable the back-to-back -back on the component level, and then enable only at the parent level, and then uh, make it as a buy. It worked perfectly. Right? Uh, no, I'm not sure about whether this, uh, which which changes I've done. Right? This is one change I made now. I will only know about the other change now. Right? So in the work definition area, I've not made any changes. Exactly like uh, what I have done, what I have demonstrated, I made the same thing on the 0, zero to org actually. I'll just show you where exactly this not shown that. I will now go to what? Supply chain planning and then I go to the work definition area. I created everything similar to uh, uh, the first part of it. Now, right? yeah. what happened? I now made the work area, work centers, resources, everything. If you go to the work center, you can now see this. Now, right? Right? Work center. Everything I made. Thank you. So click on it and then I will now query for this what I'm A01 and then search for it now. <clears throat> I will know how work center, thank you. Work center. So in the work center, if you see, uh, I have now housed everything on this one. Thank you. So I know all the three <coughs> resources are housed and then I made all the three standard operations now. Fine. Similarly, uh, what I have demonstrated, everything has no same. Fine. No, no change at all in this place. So if you go to the managed standard operations, I have now created everything same now. <clears throat> and go on the A01 and then click on search now. It will now show you all of this. So, Everything is same, and then uh, the work definition also is the same fashion. 
So we go to the manual open definition in the same version. I'll do it. And we'll go to the A01 and then give it a tap. I'm going to choose a drum two now. So drum two is the one. I click on OK. And then I click on search. We'll now see the work definition being made here. So two hours. So if it's the main one, if you click on the main one, whatever that you know, show you all the components, I think probably <coughs> I made a search now. So it shows you everything. So if you click on it, whatever that you know, show you what are the components which are associated to it now. So go there. <coughs> This area just please explore no point. Now it's not showing you which is the item, which is the resource which is required for this no point. All these things are not showing you. And then every operation, 10, 20, and 30 are the three operations on which what happens. I have associated the respective one into the respective operation specifically. So in a visual builder, what happens? I drag and drop, which what happens here now. So welding opponent and then the welder. Welding rods are now issued. And then the welding rods and then the welder it has been issued also. So uh, it's all same. Give a cancel no point. And then afterwards, we'll now come to the, uh, what's called uh, your uh, GOP front now. The GOP front, what I made, I'll do. <clears throat> so click on it. You go to this place home. <clears throat> and then I go to the order management, and then I go to the global order promising. Global order promising. So here in this place, if you go to the manage ATP rules, I simply added it. I go there, click on it, I simply added it. I go to the manage ATP rules. Go there. It's a A01. I'm going to query to. So when I query, I will not edit it. Now, the components are going to be issued only in manufacturing, basically. But whether we have to add the components or not in the ATP rule, I'm not sure about it. But I've added everything. So here you can see a drop ship is there. Uh, no, it is not added actually. The components are not added. Correct. Not added. So I have added only the drum two here. No, right? So the sheet metal and then the paint. As well as what happens, the welding rods are not added over here. It's good. So I have added only the parent over here. No point in this place. Item organization level. It's uh, basically what happens. The supply chain planning. Remember, it's the supply chain planning. And then infinite planning is only for what happens. The non GOP. And then lead time is manufacturing. And then this is for what happens. The ATP enabled ATP way of uh, processing it. And then here I have added the ATP time fence. This is uh, and the and the first two axes of a what happens. The buy and transfer. I am not added. So from uh, uh, what happens. Uh, from the uh, back drop ship using uh, back to back uh, using GOP as well as for the make, I have added this. But again, not clear on this open. Somebody please uh, uh, study the uh, what the planning central and then uh, tell us what exactly the significance of it as well as this significance, these three significance. Right? This is, will be taught in the planning central training. So you already have the record and then please study and then uh, teach the teacher actually, right? train the trainer. And so this is the one. So afterwards, what happens? I have gone there. I have made a usual uh, manufacturing now. If you go to the what's called manage sourcing rules now. <clears throat> I like uh, your uh, what happens uh, buy and transfer. The make is also made now. And then here if you go home and see this now. Fine. So I am now going to manufacture in 002. Now. Drum is manufactured. This is a local sourcing rule now. Fine. Manufacturing can only be local, it cannot be global. Now. And then you need it now. You cannot see the manufacturing is a local now. Fine. It's a local sourcing rule. So local source, and then what happens? The organization name is also running 002, and then here in the place, what happens? I make it 002 with 100% So it's a local sourcing rule. So the drum manufacturing at 002 is a local sourcing rule. I made now, I cancel it. And then afterwards, I have now used this transfer. I have used what this transfer? Fine. Transfer to customer. And this is a, a rule which is a, many companies are using it. And go that click on it. The best way, fine. Go that click on it. And then here, you're going to transfer to the customer through all the inventory orgs. If you have 50 inventory orgs, please add everything over here. So all the orgs added with the rank of one, two, three, four, five, six, etc., 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 and then keep it. And then this is the only transfer uh, sourcing rule you'll be using. It is a lot global now. And transfer is basically global now. Transfer is transfer to customer actually. So add for all the inventory or one rule is sufficient. So transfer to customer is the one fine. Well, that's not cancel. So in the back to back pie, we have already seen, and then the back to back transfer also you've seen now. Fine, those things are all completely fine. The transfer is again a local rule. Fine, go there. And then buy is a global, remember, buy is always a global. Back to buy, buy is always a global. Whereas transfer is a local, manufacturing is a local. Now, right? The back to back buy, if you go on and see, thank you on it, thank you on plus edit now, it will be buy is a global. Now. Fine, buy is a global. And then here we are given the supplier area, and then the supply, so supply side source system is also given over there now. Fine, to us. So this is the way. Now we'll now go to the, uh, what's called your assignment set. Now, fine, the assignment set is basically pointed to by the admin profile, the MSP default assignment set. So here, what happens, they go there. And then you go to the manage assignment sets now. <coughs> In the assignment sets, what happens? If you go there and then query your assignment set, find A01, and then give a search now. And then go there, click on it, and then here, what happens? You edit it now. 
for a back to back uh, drop ship using gop what happens it is recommended in one of the uh, what happens in the metalling that use a global one global fine so uh, how i did is what item level i have a gop drop ship and then here what happens we have a global buy you now fine the buy so here the supplier is supposed to ship it to the customer buy and ship and i made the buy and ship it is only a global buy actually it is a global buy and then he has to buy and then ship because what happens the item is now item is always for a, uh, one of a shipping to the customers basically but they say even though the supplier is going to supply to the customers you have to have a logical reserve so the logical reserve will be basically done through a global one that is what is written there somewhere so afterwards what happens i made a global it worked fine so item level with a global buy and then at the global level a transfer now the transfer it worked perfectly the transfer worked and then apart from that we had a issue of what that uh, manage drop ship flows fine. that was having an issue of priority and that also is solved so it took a long time for me to what happens identify there so if you do this way what happens uh, the back to back drop ship works now and it is strongly recommended to have one global rule on the bottom basic and then now for the manufacturing what happens i have given for the item and item org item org fine item and item org are for back to back buy make and transfer fine for all the things in item combination item org combination is a must fine with item or item combination and the item org so in the item org what happens we are going to manufacture it now fine with the on manufacturing so this is a drum is getting manufactured now fine with the drum is getting manufactured and then what happens i'm using this item org item and then the org fine first of all put the org and then item and then put the local manufacturing and then at the item level what happens we are going to drum to we are going to ship it to the customers so in this case what about the global will not fire at all and go there if you click on the view sourcing hierarchy so what happens is no coming fine organizations what 002 fine you would have and then i will not put the item a01 underscore b and then you would have no. this screen is not coming sometimes sometimes it's coming sometimes it's not coming i don't know why it's so they how to make it enabled i don't know and go there click on search now fine it will not show you three ways of sourcing basically so first what happens the first activity is what item organization fine whatever is getting picked it will all be eligible for application and then if the fulfillment is getting fulfilled it will not go further at all here what happens i am now manufacturing it at the 02 and then we are transferring it from 02 fine is basically 0102 a01 every organization is there in the transfer room so it is going to transfer to the customer so in this case the global will not fire at all <coughs> it is strongly recommended to have a global also fine let's go down and now what happens in the next video we are going to show you about what it is not possible let us say some uh, 5000 items are there which has been manufactured and shipped right this way how to insert, insert in it's a very difficult one now <laughs> <coughs> lokesh had a problem he was having around 15000 items to be what happens are purchased received and then shipped so how to enter it item org and then item for 15000 items is very difficult fine right? yes i identified certain ways we will be discussing on the next saturday fine right? with him the we'll lossy but how will do it fine i also have some idea so i will now make one complex gop exercise and then if it succeeds i will be posting that also over there so this is what so with this what happens i have done the collection refresh <coughs> the usual way collection and then refresh first of all collected uh, item and then item structure and then definition was collected then afterwards the orchestration order orchestration reference the object was collected then afterwards what happens i refresh everything and remember during this refresh i made one change when i was collecting the item uh, 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 item structures and work definition i gone for a targeted change i want i went for a targeted change so it is preferable to have a targeted change if only some few are there because the whole thing will be taking a long time and so what happens if you go via the targeted uh, collection for a smaller items i think what happens it will be wiping off everything and then it will not bring in more so for example the item has been made a change has been made from what happens a make to buy this is a small change so i am not very sure about whether the net change will now bring the item with the change or not i had a doubt so what happens i uh, went for a targeted for these three uh, it worked perfectly right? so you also what happens i think about uh, what happens a targeted collection for only one or two only thing is when you are going for a targeted for whole what happens it will take a long time <clears throat> so in fact one of our dasar them was having a problem that when they run the targeted collection they were forced to run because what happens some minor changes are not getting reflected the red change and then they were running targeted and then he says that it takes around 2 hours to complete actually so that much of time it takes no fine so it's a very heavy headache and then they were discussing with oracle i don't know what sort of a solution has gone for now so here what happens lokesh has got some suggestion i will be trying to make one complex gop and then i will not try to go if i succeed what about that video will be doing it now fine otherwise i will not discuss on the next saturday bye for now and then what happens this is the fourth video on gop now fine right fourth set of actions basically this is now have two parts now fine